One out of five Namibians is directly affected by the recurrent drought, while hundreds of thousands do not have access to food and in some cases water. The drought has affected large and small scale farmers and it has depleted many water sources affecting the agriculture sector in the country. Even though there is less youth engagement in the sector, the agriculture sector is starting to attract more young people, making a living out of it. This is the story of Ilani Nanjato and his plight to make it as a part-time farmer. Actually, I call this a testing field. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just testing, you know, this is just part of a Mahangu field. And uh, as uh, we all know, in the Mahangu field, we only make it productive uh, seasonal. Yeah, seasonal or just a few months of the year. And then for the rest of the, of the, the, the months, it's uh, just left there without uh, anything going on. Now what I did, I just um, took a portion of our Mahangu field mm -hmm. and then I established a, a testing field. Mm -hmm. Now the purpose of this testing field is just to test what can be grown here and just to, to the idea is to make the land um, productive throughout the year. Yeah, throughout the year. Um, we can be doing it like uh, after uh, we are done with the Mahangu, with the Mahangu um, season, we can still see what else we can grow. As, as you can see here, where I tested um, the green paper, there was garlic that was here, I harvested already. Um, there is uh, spinach, carrots, uh, there is even cabbage and uh, tomato. Yeah, we, we are just uh, testing, but uh, the, the research so far, the testing so far, it's quite uh, positive. It's quite positive that um, everything is going well and it's, uh, most of the, the crops are doing very well. They are reacting positive, if I may say. Uh, meaning that uh, there is uh, uh, hope that uh, it's going to be uh, fruitful. And n not only this um, uh, uh, vegetable that we're having, we're also having few fruit trees that we have uh, planted. Uh, it's, 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 the idea is the same. We also want to test, apart from the indigenous uh, plants that we are having here, or trees, mm. we want to try also the export, um, the export uh, trees, if they can grow or adapt to this uh, hot climate uh, condition. We have, um, we have uh, the likes of uh, nakis, we have uh, um, oranges, we have uh, um, lemon, uh, we have uh, guavas, we have um, um, uh, mango, we have uh, cashew nut, and and many more. But all of them, they are they, they are testing positive. They are they are reacting positive, rather. Is 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 this something that you're planning to keep doing every year, or is it just a once-off trial? No, 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 no. As I said, it's 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 a research. You know, it's a study. It's not just something that I'm, I'm doing uh, for this or for the time being, mm -hmm. but it's something after the study, uh, which is, um, as I said, it's, it's, it's quite positive. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, it, it's, it's also, also developed in, in a, a thing of uh, continuous. After you have seen what, what have, uh, you have produced, now you want to do more. You want to do more, you want to keep trying, you you want even to, to try the traditional food that we only see seasonal. Such as Ombidi. Yeah, such as Ombidi. We also tested Ombidi here and uh, uh, it was, uh, we grow it in, in, in August. Mm -hmm. Ombidi, we grow it in August and in August Ombidi was doing very well. In uh, August, uh, September, October, we've been eating Ombidi which is, it's fresh and it's just uh, the same as uh, the same as uh, the one that we, we, we use uh, during the Ombidi season. Mm -hmm. uh, we started here in, um, uh, we started here with uh, the, 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 the big trees. We started in, uh, I think it's August last year because I, I bought these plants in the Ongodiva Anua Trade Fair mm -hmm. that we started with. And um, so far, so good. 
they are reacting very well. Um, it's just the commitment that you put in watering, and then um, not to to let uh, um, the, the the animal in so that they can destroy. Yeah. Apart from this, we as you can see, we, uh, that is that is uh, something typical for an Ojibwe man. Mm. There is no way in in an Ojibwe man not to have. Um, uh, uh, livestock, yeah, livestock, cattle and goats. Yeah, that is... Uh, um, but you are feeding them from your pocket. That's what you told me all before. Yeah, it's, as uh, you can see. How is the oh, drought if you have seen. treating you and uh, the survival so far? And with the sign of rain, is trying to catch up. And are, are you, uh, do you think you will make it through? Uh, uh, I think there is... Uh, it's, it's quite positive, as you can see. This is uh, all green. The grass is it's, it's green. It's meaning that uh, it's quite positive that uh, uh, there is a uh, high hope that uh, it's going to be a, a better year. Uh, uh, the past for the past uh, months it, it was tough. There was nothing on the ground. You have to feed everything just uh, from the pocket, from water. Having to provide them with tap water, you have to buy food each and every day. You are buying feeders. You just have to commit to that um, um, feeding strategy, and and they at least they 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 have adopted mm. uh, to that um, uh, situation. As as we get closer to the end, if you look at this in a way for your homestead, it's food security in a way. Mm -hmm. How do you think we can scale this up to the national level? If each of us can do this, do you think it will make an impact? You see, here uh, we are not only, um, we, we don't consume all this. Mm. There is always a leftover. And imagine we are doing, we are all doing this, all these houses in this uh, uh, villages or village, they are all having this um, kind of gardening. Mm. We, we can be able to at, at least um, uh, f uh, supply our own market and then we can consume what we all produce. And as you can see, this is these are all organic products that we don't put in um, GMO. GMO or GMO. all these artificial fertilizers. We only use using this, the natural uh, uh, fertilizers such as the leaves from the, 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 the plants, um, manure from the, the, the cattle or goat crowds, then that is it. Yeah. If we can all do this, I'm quite sure that uh, there will not be going anything of uh, food insecurity. As, as that was reported by the by the the, the fall during the food uh, the the food day yeah the, during the World Food Day that uh, about uh, close to 290,000 Namibians are facing f food insecurity or some of them they are even facing all sort of uh, malnutrition be it obesity be it um, uh, undernutrition mm. but if you are all doing this these are all they are all looking fresh and and um, and healthier you and I, I see you are using your own tap water mm -hmm. how do you deal with that is your bill not going high um, not real as long as you you try to contain it yeah, by setting it each and every month yeah, because if you skip a month then the following month it's obvious it's going to be high so if you keep on doing it just like that uh, just containing it each and every day month you are committing to pay uh, you will not really feel it much because it's just uh, what 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 you were supposed to be spending on the food is that is what you are spending on the water it's almost it almost yeah not almost the same but there is a reduction a bit yeah, because what you are putting now in water is not uh, comparable to the food prices that is very high. Mm. Mm. Okay. I think w what is your last words to people that are, uh, whether depending on buying their tomatoes, cabbage and uh, onions uh, in, to, in shops instead of growing them, what message do we have for them? And where do they start? How, wh what is that thing, one thing they have to do, to do first to, to start? Okay, um, uh, uh, to the to my fellow Namibians out there, especially the youth, 
uh, I think uh, the good thing or the best thing to do is um, to act, not just to be speaking the or talking the um, the economy, uh, what what. Yeah, we know, we all know how the economic situation, but cannot be an excuse because um, uh, now what are we doing to contribute to the economic uh, uh, situation of the country? Activities such as this can. Uh, it can or it can contribute because uh, instead of uh, spending all the money in food now you if you start come up with something like this you can spend that money into something else yeah yeah if if you are now producing um or your own food or you are supporting at least try to support your neighbor i'm not now talking now in terms of my neighbor to come and support me no i'm just saying anybody that is out there are uh, doing something. yeah trying something try to support them that is how we 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 can revive the economy as well because uh, if you give me a ten dollar and then i give you some spinach for example at least uh, i'm now going to spend a ten dollar either to pay water which is um, in in the process. I'm still supporting uh, Nam Water mm. so that the company can also continue, continue doing other activities, supplying water to other people. Yeah. So the the way to start, whoever want to to also to start their own um, uh, um, act, uh, uh, project or, or, or food security initiative. Uh, if you cannot do it yourself, because not all of us are. Uh, blessed with these hands of um, growing um, the veggie or plants. Try to ask for help. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the interview, the insights, and you have seen how uh, Eleni Nanjato is doing it perfectly. I, I, I'm hoping you have learned so much that uh, from today you are going to set up your own backyard garden and grow tomato, uh, uh, spinach, carrots, onions, you don't need to go buy these things if you can grow them. This is how we increase food security in our country. It starts with you. What do you do? If you cannot uh, produce food for yourself, who should produce for you? That's the question I'll leave for you today. And uh, thank you so much for watching.